So creating your first YouTube studio can take a little bit of figuring out and hacking, but I've found that creating good videos doesn't necessarily mean breaking the bank. So hi everyone, my name is Jean and let me walk you through my budget YouTube setup that I have used right now. Now first things first, I'm using the Pixel 6 to film all of my videos. I find that it has pretty decent video quality and also the audio on board is pretty okay. Now when I went vlogging with it recently, I found that a few things that really bothered me is that the phone gets really hot very fast and that might be something to look out for when you go forward with it. Another thing that's really annoying about the Pixel 6 is that the battery is not necessarily the best either. So if you're going to go out with it and you're going to spend some time taking videos, you might want to carry a power bank with you in case you need that extra juice. Now for sound, I use a lavalier mic with a USB-C connection straight to my phone. It's six foot long and therefore I don't have to worry about the reach or it even snagging when I'm trying to move around with my videos. Um, this lavalier mic is pretty cheap. I got it on Amazon for about $15 and the sound quality I think is pretty decent. But I think maybe in the future I might upgrade to something with better quality. And I guess you guys can tell me in the comments below what you think of this audio. Or maybe I should just switch back to the audio on the phone because either way I think either one is pretty decent. Now before I tell you any more about other gadgets that I'm using to set up my studio over here, I want you guys to go down below, subscribe, hit the like button, and even comment down below on what you think of the gadgets I've told you about so far, or even how you would use them and what you like about them. Now for stability, I use the Manfrotto mini tripod. It feels really stable, it's well built, and I use it when I'm walking around and I'm shooting videos. It really helps to keep my shots stable, and it is really an easy recommendation for people like myself who are just starting out making videos and they're doing it on a budget. Now attached to my tripod is the Ulanzi phone mic. It has the ability to film either horizontal or vertical video with your phone. But what I find very frustrating about it is that I can't really quite use the mount with my phone case on, which means I always have to worry about handling it carefully when I'm out in the streets. And if, because if I were to drop it, it would be catastrophic for me because that means my phone would be absolutely wrecked. So I think in the future, much, much later, I might have to consider an alternative for the mount. Now for lighting, I mainly rely on natural light. I have two windows in my bedroom that help to keep the room well lit during the day. But I also have a desk lamp over here that sort of helps to add some warmth to the room. And I find that it helps lift me from the background as well. For editing my videos, I use my ThinkPad Lenovo laptop. I've had it for about four years now. It comes with eight gigs of memory and 512 SSD storage. It's a pretty decent laptop that I've used for a long time. I used to use it for graphic design jobs, so I mainly just use it for like InDesign and Illustrator, so it worked just great. But right now with editing, I use DaVinci Resolve, and I find that it really struggles to keep up with the software. A lot of the time, the laptop gets hot, the fans kick in and they're very loud, and then the software also begins to stall, my frames begin skipping. So what I do most of the time as I'm editing these videos for you guys, I have to export it, watch it, bring it back, try and edit it and try and get everything in sync to line up properly. So it's a little bit of a challenge, but I'm going to have to figure out how to work with it for now. The external monitor I use is a Dell monitor and I have no idea about the specs because it's borrowed and I'm not one to complain because free is always best. Now this monitor has been a saving grace for me because trying to edit video on a 14 inch screen is rough but editing on a larger screen is really the best way to go if you can. Now for my headphones I use the Sony W hxb 900 n headphones they're pretty old i think they're maybe like four or five years old i got them like under a hundred dollars at the time and they're much more affordable than their big brothers right now on the market and so i highly recommend them i think they have great sound pretty decent noise cancellation and they do the job just fine 
So there you have it. That's my entire setup that I use to do all of my work in the video editing. I film from here. It's literally just my bedroom. But if you want to see what it's like to vlog with the Pixel 6 and really understand the video quality and the sound quality, go ahead and watch my previous video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.